where are we at? Let's see, let me go back to 12.05 p.m. and boom, it jumps right to 12.05. Let's go to 1.39, boom, it's at 1.39. So the day is here, Wise has released the new Wise Cam V3 Pro. I made an unboxing and setup video on it recently. It's been doing great. Been using this camera now for about four or five days. Can honestly say, truly love it. But I wanted to make a full video comparison of the Wisecam V3 to the Wisecam V3 Pro. Everything from the box to looking at the devices side by side, to comparing video footage, daytime, nighttime, with and without a spotlight, trying to compare everything I can think of of the V3 versus the V3 Pro. So of course, I have both products right here. So click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. And now let's get on the overhead rig and compare the Wisecam V3 to the Wisecam V3 Pro. All right, so we've set up the Wisecam V3 on the left. It's gonna stay on the left side. The Wisecam V3 Pro on the right. I'm gonna keep it on the right side. So to start out the boxes, you almost would not even notice the difference. I personally think they should have made this one of those more colorful boxes, just so it would have stood out a little more. Um, you just, it's very hard to even notice when you're just grabbing a couple of these. Same on the top, bottom's the same. Facts are a little different this time. The app info is basically the same. And then a lot of the specs, color night vision, full length event recording, full length motion recording, person detection, motion and sound detection, IP65 rating weather resistant, and then 1080p of course versus 2K. Now, if we look at the cameras, they're very, very close. The one thing that I'm very happy that the Pro did, did not adopt from its older brother is the uh, the little power cable like that. I hated that. I'm glad that it's just one power cable. The bases all seem the same. I mean, it literally basically looks the same. I don't think that there's any real differences in the base. It's probably the same base. Even the shell, the more I'm looking at this, even to the W, looks very much the same. I'm actually starting to kind of think now, these, uh, they might have really just upgraded the insides and, you know, kind of changed out that power adapter thing. Very interesting. So I wanted to run, of course, a couple of tests here. Now I've had a lot of wise cameras from the Wisecam V2 to the Wisecam V3, to the PanCam, to the PanCam V2. I even have the Spotlight camera and the battery powered version ones. I never bought the battery powered version twos. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna do a speaker test from each one of these. I wanna try out the speaker. And then after I try out the speaker, we're gonna try out the siren. So here's the speaker test on the Wisecam V3. This is a speaker test on the Wisecam V3. And here is a speaker test on the Wisecam V3 Pro. This is a speaker test on the Wisecam V3 Pro. So I think the speaker is honestly improved. I always thought that it sounded pretty good on the Wisecam V3. I definitely feel like that they have enhanced it and upgraded it a good bit in the Wisecam V3 Pro. So if we go into our Wise app, let me find the living room camera. So a lot of people I think are used to this layout. You have your sound here, your record, your speak, take photo, your more options over here, and view playback lets you view back your SD card as long as you have that set up and enabled. Now that's how it looks on the Wisecam V3. On the Wisecam V3 Pro, it looks a little bit different, but your microphone button is here, your mute button is here, you actually have the additional spotlight button right there, and then you have take photo, record, smart focus, which is a new feature, and then SD card. If you select SD card, you can then run it back to other points during the day. It does a phenomenal job at zipping through this footage. Like, where are we at? Let's see, let me go back to 12.05 p.m. and boom, it jumps right to 12.05. Let's go to 1.39, boom, it's at 1.39. I was apparently putting something together for a video, but very, very smooth and absolutely love the feature so far for the Wisecam V3 Pro. Now, the only other thing I can think to show you is the siren. The siren on the V3 Pro is a little louder. Sounds like this. <laughs> And on the regular V3, the siren sounds like this. I can definitely say that being here in front of both of them, this one is definitely louder. I don't know how far it would travel, but the V3 Pro siren is 100% louder. 
Now, aside from them being very similar, they're also very different. This one does have the included spotlight, which was an add-on feature with the original V3. It was actually this whole contraption, and you had like a put this up here and ran a cable. To, it was a whole thing. And then this one is 2K resolution, which is going to make the V3 Pro's resolution look much better than the 1080p from the Wisecam V3. Now, price-wise, currently Wisecam V3s go for about 30 bucks. Wisecam V3 Pros are showing for 50 bucks. Outside of the spotlight the 2K better resolution and the better processing unit. This one does support up to a 256 gig micro SD card, which at 2K resolution will probably give you about two full weeks of 24 seven recording to that SD card. While over here on 1080p will also give you about two weeks, two weeks of 24 seven recording footage. Now, the only other things I wanna show you is some daytime and nighttime audio video clips. So we're gonna go set up both of these cameras outside, on, outside in the carport because that's where this camera is actually going to stay. Then I'm going to create a daytime video clip from each camera, and I'm even going to throw in a Wisecam V2 just to test it for the fun of it. And then I'm going to get a nighttime clip from each camera. I'm going to get a nighttime clip from this one without its spotlight. And then I'm also going to get a color night vision clip from each camera so we can see what that looks like. So let's go do these tests. All right, so now I've set up my Wisecam V2, my Wisecam V3, and my Wisecam V3 Pro. Now we're going to get a daytime audio video clip from each camera. I'm truly kind of shocked I got this to work, but that shelf just fit perfectly and all the cables flow so nicely. And this is a daytime audio video clip on the Wisecam V3. And this is a daytime audio video clip on the Wisecam V3 Pro. All right, so this is a daytime audio video clip from the wise cam V2. And this is a daytime audio video clip on the wise cam V3 Pro. Then we'll get a nighttime audio video clip. And this is a nighttime audio video clip on the wise cam V3 Pro without the spotlight. This is a nighttime audio video clip with the wise cam V3 Pro with the spotlight. This is a nighttime audio video clip on the wise cam V3. And this is a nighttime audio video clip on the wise cam V2. I can say I've tried both ways on the Wisecam V3 and V3 Pro, and I can't really see any way to make sure that color night vision is enabled, so I'm not really certain on that yet. All right, and so that should essentially do it for the Wisecam V3 versus Wisecam V3 Pro comparison. Now, in my personal opinion, and granted, these video clips that you saw were all up converted to 4K, since, since that's what I upload my videos here on YouTube with, but essentially that's, you know, what the picture looked like in each one. There was no color grading done or anything, and nothing at all was done to the sound. It wasn't turned up, wasn't turned down, nothing. I really think that the V3 Pro definitely stands out from the speaker to the siren definitely being louder to much better picture and sound quality and most importantly the smoothness of the sd card with the sd card you're able to smoothly scroll through and find a spot find exactly what happened or what time something disappeared i would have a lot of confidence in the Wisecam v3 pro to be on like every corner of my house for 24 7 security monitoring they're just truly that good in my opinion. Now, should you get the V3 Pro over the V3? I would say it depends on what you're protecting. For me, for example, this V3 Pro is going to be put up top in my carport and it's gonna be protecting my car. That's gonna be the only thing it records 24 seven. To me, my car is pretty important. So I would much rather have the V3 Pro on my car. If it's in the backyard watching the pool, I could get away with having the V3 and saving that $20 difference from the $50 V3 Pro to the $30 regular Wisecam V3. In the end, the choice is really going to be up to you. Depends on what you need it for and what kind of picture quality you're looking for. But I would definitely give two thumbs up and would always highly recommend a Wisecam V3 Pro over the Wisecam V3. But if you need to save that $20, the regular Wisecam V3 will be just fine. So I'll do it for this one. Thank you all for watching. Click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. And we'll see you in the next video. Deuces.